What's up out there? Welcome back to more Hardcore Combat Only. This is episode 17. Now, we're going to try our luck. I did get through the Earth God Dungeon. That is now done. I actually had to hold manual heal through this whole thing. Well, not through the whole thing. Um, I was able to use my magic through where I could. I think I had to switch to melee at one point early on just to kind of clear out the stuff early. And then I had to hold heal through the actual Terran God. Um, he was hitting for like 412 and I think I only have 400 on here or something like that. 420. He was hitting for at or above what my auto heal would pick up. So I had to hold heal through it. I did get, I have not equipped them yet. Have I? Did I not equip them? What did I do with them? Oh, I put them on the wrong person. I did get some Terran God boots. So let's put those on there. So I did get a piece of Ter Terran gear out of it. So I've got some Terran God boots. It gives me a little bit, a little bit extra damage reduction on my melee side. Um, let's see. Let's get out of this combat. I've been fighting these little wizards and stuff. I've been trying to build up my runes. I need air runes and death and stuff like that. I need some extra stuff. Um, I'm really digging hard into this. Like I still don't have blood runes, so I can't use the next spell level. But I'm really struggling with runes. I meant to click on that, I guess. Okay, so the point of this video is going to be to beat the fire god. That's the point. That's what we want to do. That will accomplish everything we need to accomplish with this account, I think. And we can always try to go for more, but there's only like a day or so left in this event, so couple days it's not very much uh we are going to equip let's see i need i need the fury of the elemental zodiacs i love how i click something and it just moves it on me i, I don't know why my mouse does that my old mouse did the same thing i don't know if it's got the double click too fast or click and drag set too abrupt or what i don't know but we are going to equip amulets of defense on everybody check this out okay so this is the best melee character that i can muster up at this moment this is the best magical character uh, i do have the ancient shield it is not the dragon shield i don't think i have enough Ooh, i might i think i need 7500 i think i need 7500 for that um where'd that shield go upgrade Ooh, i can upgrade it all right sweet so this can go on here. What do I have him? Uh, these offer 8% damage reduction. These offer 8% damage reduction. This one gives him the chance to uh, use poison. Uh, let's see here. Got the infernal cape on everybody. I am running some Eris gear on these. They give better damage reduction, so it helps out. And the rings are all the damage reduction ring. So this is the best that I can take into this dungeon and hopefully we can get this done. I need to switch over to sharks, heal up. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I need to turn prayer on. We have a million prayer. So we're going to take protect magic and we'll do damage reduction. That'll help us live through this cave. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I did spend some serious time going through the Dragon's Den, um, which got me the Scaled Shield because you got to upgrade the Dragon Shield. I also got the, the Dragon Hide Body and the Ancient Crossbow. I was really after that Ancient Crossbow, and I spent a lot of time getting that. Um, so this gives me a better bow, and we should be doing the best that we can do in this, in this area. Uh, Magic-wise... This all sucks. I really don't have many runes. I could bump this down to maybe water bolt or something. That way I've got about an equal number because I think water bolt uses the same. Two, one, two. Sort of the same. All right. Enough of that. We're going to go through this and we're going to beat this. I hope. I got to get something going today. I got to get some positive. So we're going to go in here. There will be some melee characters that we can run magic against. So the early trash mobs, um, 
they're going to be all melee. Uh, let's see. I got to make sure we're in 412. So I have not attempted this yet. Uh, one trick you can do. And one thing I was doing earlier on with this specific account is I was actually exporting my save and importing it into the last slot that I last uh, character slot. And then I would go attempt something and see how it turned out and see if I wanted to do it or not. And then come back in here and, and try it. I, I don't know if that's morally ethical for video game, hardcore characters, but it saved me a little bit. So I'm not going to complain about it. It's in the game. It's a feature, not a bug. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll admit to using that. Um, I think I did it for the volcano, maybe the infernal cave just to see what was going to happen. Um, this is purely blind. This one here. I've not attempted this. I, I don't even have the creatures memorized. I don't think. Uh, let's see here. Heal. Probably don't need to at this point. These are only doing 220. Um, the big one is going to be the final boss. And actually there's a melee one in here that we have to worry about too. Now, if you're going to idle this, you want full Eris God gear on your range character to absorb everything in here. And you may still need to run some prayers and stuff to handle everything. Oh, no. Nope. Switch that back. This is all melee. So we'll, we'll leave magic on. Uh, in here, you're going to get a damage reduction multiplier. Um, if I was just working on my other account for uh, internal darkness, and that one has the combat triangle flipped. But in here, magic will trump rain, uh, melee. So this is your normal attack. So we're going to go in here with this. This is my gear. I got some ancient gear. I didn't really get much of anything out of the... I, I did beat the... I don't have anything magical on. Did I not? Come on, clicky, clicky. I thought I got... I should have got a piece of gear. Hmm. Curious. It's all era stuff. I don't have... I beat the water god, but I don't have a piece of gear. Eris, Eris, Eris. What did I do? There should be a piece of gear from the water god dungeon here. Oh, I got... No, I know what I got. I got the cloud burst. And I can't use it because it's a two-handed weapon. So, unfortunate. I was going to say, I should have got a piece of armor out of that. But I didn't get armor. I got the weapon. Of all the things to get out of there, I get the damn weapon that I can't use. Figures, I guess. Uh, I suppose we could come in here and try something like Surge 2. Come on, switch. Make these spells go a little quicker. It's only going to work here for a moment, and then we're going to have to switch over to something else. Make sure we are healed before this switches, and we're going to go into here. This should be magic, and he's dead and gone. Oh yeah, these things aren't hitting very hard at all. If, that was, if everything is right, the end boss in here doesn't hit very much at all. Like, you can just knock him out fairly quickly. But... If you don't have it set just right, Pyro won't hurt that bad. It's the next guy that's going to be the problem. And we're going to switch over to magic. All right. So this guy doesn't stun, but he hits you pretty hard. And if you run this with um, ranged, it can really hurt. Like he does some serious damage that can one shot you. If you're not paying attention. So this is the one we have to worry about. And we can come in here and we can do surge two again. Let this go a little quicker. And we are just about done with this whole thing. Uh, this is the final mini boss. Um, before we get to the next, before we get to the actual boss. And we'll have like a second to switch out. So if we can melt this thing off real quick here. Go ahead and loot that real quick. All right, so if we can beat him, come on, keep hitting, and we have 31% accuracy. We need to make sure we are healed when we get out of this, because when I switch combat styles, we're coming in hot on the final boss. Going to hold heal. Make sure we are topped off. Come on. 
and then back to this. And so he's going to do Cataclysm, which does 364. I'm just going to hold all, heal through this. Uh, we're attacking very quickly. And the Scorching Ray is really the only one that's going to burn up a lot of food. But I got plenty of food. We're done. That's it. Done. <laughs> and that's it. That's all there is to that dungeon. Um, we got some Ragnar gloves. These are made more for our boots. These are more for attack. Um, speeding up your melee stuff. I'll lock that down. I can get rid of the book. I don't need that. And that is that. We can now attempt into the mist. let's do this let us do this into the mist is going to take stone skin and battle heart i would normally do the the attack that we're going to face but i don't know what it is it's going to come too fast so we're going to do that and we need to be on melee now we have to follow our combat triangle here I have some of the end game gear to watch 387. We've got stacks. Eh, he's not going to hit that hard. I have some end game gear, so we have some damage reduction. Now we're getting lucky with these draws all being ranged. I don't have to switch. Uh, oh yeah, this is nice. Uh, the, I wouldn't, I would not normally have been attempting this at this moment. Um, I would normally be attempting this after I had all the Terran God gear, all the Glacia God gear and all of the other God gear. Um, I would not be bothering with this at this point, but this is a YOLO run. So let's get it done. All right. So here we are at the mysterious figure. This is the melee portion of this. I've got damage reduction on and protect melee on. Um, this is kind of it. This is the whole thing. Uh, we are going to try to defeat this thing. It is the max hit shouldn't be too bad. The reap in return is what's going to hurt. And all the stacks that build up is what's going to hurt. So we'll see how this goes. I don't think there's anything else I can switch out. Like this is the best gear that I have. Um, the only thing I could potentially do is to throw the Eris God helmet on. Actually, maybe these things too. That ups my damage reduction a little bit, but it reduces some of my combat value. So not necessarily the greatest, but it's the best that I have. Um, I do have the Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs. So we're going to put this on over here and take this and put it on to my melee character. Now, if we get through this, this phase is melee phase. The next phase will be the ranged phase, I believe. And the final one is magic. The magic one, I don't even know if I can get. I don't think I have the spells for it. So we're going to do this. I haven't even hit this thing yet. Oh, and it's going to heal its way, too. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we may end up in this vicious circle of this thing just heals itself up the whole time. And if that's what we're going to be in, we're just going to not get anywhere. I think we're outside of our stacks. Like this thing could, I don't want to say one shot, but it could definitely two shot. Where it's hacking a little faster than this thing is, so hopefully the heal and the auto heal kicks in fast enough. It's just once it starts going to that reap and return phase, so now we're at, yeah, this thing could kill us. Not sure how this is going to go. I... If this was a normal, yeah, see it's starting to reap and return and heal. So once it starts healing itself up, there's just nothing you can do. Uh, you're at full stacks. You're just dying. And this thing just heals itself back up. And that's that. 
we may not be able to get past this. I would probably need a better weapon. Uh, I would need to go grind out the actual Earth God gear, get it fully equipped. Um, I don't know if there's a ring I can get now that would help. But in a normal game where you don't have, you know, this is hardcore combat only, so you don't really get the chance to fight this stuff with all the potions and summoning and everything. Those all help and make this fight go much better. And probably having uh, a different sword might help. Because there was one sword that helped out getting through on, uh, I think it was in, oh, internal suffering. Um, basically, all I'm doing right now is just holding the heal button. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. So, if I run out of food at any point here, we're done. If this thing heals up, we're pretty much done. And this is kind of where I figured things would stall. Because you have to be able to knock those hit points off. And at a 21%... 21% chance to hit uh, this thing will heal itself faster than you can hit it and do damage so this is probably where we're going to stop I don't know if it can kill me at this point um, well, if we die we die and we lose the whole account but this is probably going to I might cut some of this out and just cut to the chase see where it ends up because this is what's going to happen for the next 15 minutes or so and he's just healed right back up fully. All right, I'm going to try to sneak over here and run. What's the best way to get run? Uh, reap and return. Run, run. All right, we're out. We're safe. We're out. Okay. Yeah, heal that back up. I don't know if I'm going to make another attempt at that or not. I really need to get some better gear and to get better gear, I need to do dungeons and some of the dungeons that I need to do, I can't do. Um, I don't know. I just don't have, I just don't have the runes to run the earth God dungeon. That's what I really need. Fire God dungeon would be a good start, I guess. Um, if I could run that, but anyway, I think that is going to do it for hardcore combat only at this point in time. Uh, We've made it through the Fire God Dungeon, made it into fighting the, the mysterious figure of Into the Mist. I think that's fantastic. Uh, that is far farther than I thought I would ever get with this account um, in this short of a time. So this has been fun. I've enjoyed this. I actually want to do a full hardcore combat only run, but that is going to be um, once the expansion comes out. And we see what the modding support looks like and if they add any new game modes or anything. Uh, if they add this as a game mode, I will be ecstatic. If we have to go mod it in there, that's fine. I'll mod it in. I would love to have it where you can lock out these skills and just have this. That way you just did combat only. So that's what I'm going to wait for. And i got a lot of video to trim down. We're going to take 30 minutes and cut it into about 10 or 15 if, if we can get it done. So... Hope you've enjoyed this series. I know I have. Uh, the character isn't dead. And we've made it this far. And like I got to run out of Into the Mist. So, I mean, that's progress. I, you know, huge progress, actually. If I just had more time, uh, I would have 99 magic. Um, I don't know that we would ever get through Into the Mist. But we would definitely have more attempts at it. Um, but, yeah, that will do it for this one. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little series and I hope to be back with another, a real hardcore combat only series, uh, in the very near future. So with all that out of the way, we will catch you on the next one. Take care.